Hey guys, what is going on? This is Eric from Steal Your Apps and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up an FAQ for your Shopify store. Let's just jump into my screen and I'll show you how to set it up. So we are in my store. As you can see, it's already pretty well designed. And if I head over to any of my products here, in many store you would like to add an FAQ section either to the entire store or for a specific product. And many store owners just don't know how to set it up. So let me just show you a few quick ways to get started. So the most common way to add an FAQ section to your store would be to add an FAQ page either to your header which is over here or to your footer which is over here. Just for the sake of the example I've headed over to Gymshark's FAQ and they did it this way. They just had a page for a sale they've had and they've created an FAQ section for it. Let's just assume this is my FAQ because I don't want to write one for myself. Obviously you do need to write an FAQ section for yourself and I'm going to delete this after this video. I just want to take it for the sake of the example. Once you have your FAQ written, you can head over to Shopify and then you can head over to online store, pages, and you can create a new page and call it FAQ. By the way, you can already work on the design from here and just write it from here. Once it's done, you can hit save and then you can just head over to online store, navigation and place it either in the footer or in the main menu. If you're not sure how to set up these menu items, make sure to check out our latest video about how to create an online store from scratch in 2021. It's a two hour long video, but it's going to teach you everything you need to know about Shopify and how to set up your Shopify store. So let's just head it to the footer menu. I think that's a better decision in this case. FAQ and let's just add it to pages and FAQs. Let's see, add and click save. So now if I head over back to my store and I'm going to refresh the page, scroll all the way down to the footer, I should be able to see the FAQ page right over here. Okay, so that's one way to go about how to create your FAQ section. The other way would be to embed the FAQ section right into the product pages. So let me show you an example for that. Let's head over to a random product on my store, the Groot Planter, for example. I want to add multiple tabs here with some FAQs about the product or about my store. How would I go about this? The easiest way to get started would be to install an app and there are a few options on the App Store. The one I would recommend would be uh, Power. So just write product tabs in the App Store. And you can head over here to power. Now this one, it's free and I kind of like the design. You do have to keep their branding, which is not ideal. But again, for a beginner store, that's not too bad. And you get three tabs for free. So let's just install the app. So once you're getting into the app, you can have up to three tabs. If you want to add more than three tabs, then you need to upgrade the app, but you can completely control the design and the content of these tabs here. And this is going to be located in the product page. In this case, for the size charge, it's kind of irrelevant for me. So I'm just going to delete it. And let's just keep two different tabs here. One, I'm going to call it FAQ. I'm just gonna paste it. Let's just delete the titles from here. Again, I'm just doing it to show you. Don't take the design from any other store. Just create your own thing. It shouldn't be that hard. You know what your FAQs are. So now that we have this FAQ tab, let's add another tab. Let's call it returns and shipping. All right, so let's just get back here. Return and shipping. And here I'm just going to either link to my returns and shipping policies or I'm just going to paste it in here. So just to keep it simple and make it shorter, I'm just going to head over to my returns policy and shipping policy and I'm just going to link it right here. Let's just write something like for more information. This is one way to go. Again, this is not the recommended way. I would suggest just take the top things customers need to know about returns and shipping and actually put them here. But again, for the sake of the example, I just wanna make it quick. So let's just do it this way. You know what, let's just also add the link here. I think that looks better. And for the returns policy, same idea. 
just add a link awesome so now we're done and we have two tabs one for faq and one for returns policy we are done with the content and now we have two tabs one for faqs and one for returns and shipping policies you can also change the design of these tabs i do think that the basic design is pretty much okay if you have different colors to your store feel free to change it you can change the tab design content design borders plugin size and for advanced stuff you can add some html and css now once you're done you can just hit publish the next thing I'll have to do is to choose where I want to add the FAQ. So in this section, I'm just going to add it to all product pages. And now you need to select if you want it at the top or at the bottom of the page. And the two options you have are at the top and it looks like this, which is kind of horrible in my opinion, because it's going to ruin your conversion rate, the product being all the way to the bottom. And if you head over to the bottom, it's going to look something like this, which I think is much better. It's still not ideal, but on mobile it's great and it's a great way to start. Now, if you want to place it on a specific location, I'd suggest just placing it below the product description. You can head over to install a uh, custom location and then you're going to be able to copy the code and place it right under your product description. Just make sure that if you do that, you know how to handle the code so you don't mess up your online store theme, at least duplicate your online store theme. Now let's just install it again. Let's just select all product pages bottom and add to pages and now we're done we have the product faqs right below the actual product at the bottom of the page and we also have an faq section now i want to show you another way to add an faq section and this one is a different type of faq this faq is for the post purchase experience and these are things that are super important to notice now most stores completely ignore this stage and it's very important especially if you're drop shipping because usually the shipping times are going to be anywhere between 7 to 21 days so it's better to mention that right over the order confirmation page and the best way to edit the order confirmation page would be to use reconvert which is our app to design thank you pages in order to do that what you have to do is just head over to reconvert if you don't have it already obviously you need to head over to the Shopify app store install the app and go through the onboarding process which is fairly simple it's just a few clicks and I'm going to head over to my active template right here okay so this is what my basic template look like right now what i want to do is just add to this area here an faq section just with a few things the customers need to know about my products and my shipping policy and what they need to expect next we can include everything actually into a video so Let's just add the video and put it all the way to the top. First thing I'm going to have to do is just edit the actual content of this. And here I'm just going to add a few things customer need to know about my business. So let me just write it down. Okay, so I've added a few things customers should know about the order. Just mentioned like random stuff about shipping times, that we are here to answer any questions and that when you get the product, please send us a video so we can use that. Now, obviously you can add whatever you want in here, what's relevant to your products. If it's about sizing, if it's about how to clean the products, how to handle them, that's completely up to you. And let's also add a video of you saying thank you or explaining something about the product. So let me just head over to YouTube and find a random product we should check so thank you for your order and i'm just going to take this video id in here okay that's the last part of the url and i'm going to paste it in the video id section and now i'm going to have this video on my thank you page so that customers will know exactly what to expect now this is super important and if you do have a specific faqs or specific products or specific orders that will require more specific faqs you can definitely set it up with reconvert this is one template so let's say that i want to have a different type of thank you page for a different type of occasion what you'd like to do is just to click on actions and duplicate this template and let's say that everything is exactly the same for these two orders but let's say that for Germany shipping times would be up to seven business days okay so let's just change it let's just do Germany FAQs what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to change to shipping time to Germany can take up to seven business days Let's say everything else is completely the same. Of course, you can customize everything here from the offers, the upsells, the recommendations. Once I have it ready and I have the template done, let's get back to the dashboard. 
And now you can head over to triggers. Now triggers are going to allow you to display different thank you page based on different conditions, either from the product purchase, from the customer information, or from the order information. So let's just say that in the triggers, I want to create a trigger here for customers from Germany. Orders from Germany. Okay, and I'm just going to select the Germany FAQs template. And now I'm just going to select here, order details, and then shipping country is Germany. Perfect. And that's it. Now I have a specific FAQ for a very specific case and you can really customize it as much as you want. So by default, every time an order comes in, we're going to check if the order is from Germany. If not, we're just going to display the default thank you page that you've seen earlier with instructions for the US. But you can create as many sections like this as you like and you can really use the thank you page to either generate extra revenue or just to notify your customers about what to expect from your store. Okay guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. You now understand that you need to place the FAQ in a few different places in your store from the actual product page, maybe in the shipping page, if it's relevant during checkout or at cart, and definitely on the order confirmation page so that the customer will know exactly what to expect from each product and each order. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them in the comment section below so we can answer, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.